Marine plastic pollution has become a critical challenge of our times. Since the 1950s, 8,300 million tons of plastic has been produced, 4,600 million tons discarded, and 600 million tons recycled. 400 million tons are produced annually, and 8 million tons flow into our oceans every year. This amount of pollution will double by 2030 and quadruple by 2050. Plastic pollution threatens ocean and human health, contributes to climate change, and has serious economic and financial implications. Larger pieces, known as macroplastics, accumulate in ocean gyres, wash up on beaches, harm marine ecosystems, and impact coastal communities. Smaller pieces, known as microplastics and nanoplastics, travel through the air and water column, breaking down from larger pieces or coming from the abrasion of tires, loss of microbeads, clothes fibers, or paints, these particles enter the food chain. But where does all this plastic come from in the first place? Initially a mineral oil resource, the building blocks of all plastics are pellets, which are shaped into different products. At the end of their life, plastics can be incinerated or recycled, but an important majority are improperly discarded and accumulate in landfills or the environment. Plastic pollution is caused by inadequate waste management systems, as well as by microplastic leakages during the lifespan of plastic products. Sewage systems, rivers, and discarded items at sea, such as ghost nets, are some of the ways plastic enters our oceans. Every day around the world, we use millions of single-use plastics. We need to shift from today's linear take-make-dispose model to a more circular economy in plastics value chain, where products are designed to be reused or recycled and consumption reduced. To address plastic pollution, new materials are being developed. Bioplastics, which are made from natural materials, biodegradable plastics, which are broken down by living organisms, and compostable plastics, designed to decompose in a composting facility. These innovations are still at an early stage and require as well to be properly managed and disposed of. Beyond these solutions, we need consumer behavior change, new product and technological innovations, and comprehensive legal frameworks and tax incentives. The Mar Plastics Initiative was launched in 2018 in five countries with the ambition to expand its geographical scope. It includes four main components, increased knowledge, improved policies, engaged business, and catalyzed capacities. <laughs>